My name is Michael McKnight. I run because it's a way for me to show appreciation to my body and what it's capable of doing. In 2012, I was in a skiing accident. It was a very icy day. I went off of a jump and landed poorly and flat on my back. My L1 vertebrae completely shattered. I had surgery the next day, had a bunch of hardware put in my back. Doctor told me that it would be up to a year before I could run again, but my body recovered fast and I was able to start running a few weeks later. And now I can run ultras and not have that much pain. And so the fact that I'm able to not only walk, but run these kind of distances really makes me appreciate what my body can do. And I want to continue uh, to show my body appreciation for what it can do and run these ultras. I was super tired for all of Tahoe, but just pushed through it and pushed my body and, and got to the finish and was super stoked about that. There's a lot of people who inspire me. I definitely have to say that the top people on that list are my wife and kids. The way I describe Sarah, I would say she is beautiful, faithful, determined, happy, supportive. Living in a car for days, being pregnant, being nauseous, uh, all of that. She put all that beside her and, and helped me. So being able to do that while taking care of our son as well, uh, she does a lot for, for me and for our families. My dad and my mom, the way they raised me and they inspired me in so many ways that they'll never imagine. I run trails over roads because you get to see so many of God's different creations. You get to see 240 miles of the Moab Desert as compared to pavement and cars passing you. you know, it's, it's quieter out there, you get to hear nature, you get to really reflect on who you are. You just get to see so much more on a trail as compared to a road. Defining success in an ultra is very different for each person, I feel. You gotta really evaluate yourself as a person and why you're running an ultra. For me, and I feel for most people though, it's just pushing your limits and being able to continue to push your limits. When you sign up for an ultra and you start an ultra, you come into it very hopeful. You hope that you're gonna PR, you hope that everything's gonna be perfect, You hope that nothing will go wrong. The way I try to resolve any doubt that I have in myself is to, to get out there and accomplish what I'm doubting myself with. It's a dangerous game because if I have doubt that I could finish the Moab 200 and I just come out here and go for it and I, and I indeed don't finish it, then it could be a rough couple of weeks where I really have a, a hard time accepting who I am and what my abilities are. But I found for me the best way to get over any doubt I have in myself is to just go out there and do and challenge myself. My overall strategy going into a 200 mile race is simply to finish. The little steps that I take to lead up to that uh, revolve around being patient and holding back. 
So I'll start a race out a lot slower than I know I'm capable of and, and not worry when I see 12 people pass me right away and gain five miles on me because I know it's 200 miles. So when mile 150 comes around and I still have a little bit in the tank, I can make up quite a bit of time. We are secrets to each other. Each one's life a novel no one else has read. Even joined in bonds of love. We're linked to one another by such slender threads. We are planets to each other. Drifting in our orbits to a brief eclipse Each of us a world apart Alone and yet together like two bouncing ships Just between us I think it's time for us to recognize I'm not one who's out to prove myself um, in any way to anybody. If I didn't love what I do, then I wouldn't be doing it. What makes someone a successful runner is their ability to move forward. You don't have to finish in first. You don't have to set course records. You don't have to be the coolest, baddest person out there. Uh, all you have to do is be able to move forward. Uh, you can cross the finish line in dead last. You can, you can drop out even. Uh, that doesn't matter. What matters is being able to continuously move forward. So if you drop out, uh, look at your schedule and find a new race to go on and tackle. If you drop out of that one, look for another race. Uh, just continuously moving forward and not ever full on quitting is what I feel makes a successful runner. You wanna go?